day was on my mind Welcome back to another DST Fitness video today. And for time, today's video, you guys know what it is. All right, so we're gonna hop straight into it. Here are gonna be three tips to grow a bigger upper body, okay? Three things that you guys can do to grow a bigger chest, shoulders, arms, uh, get better abs, get a bigger back, okay? All that stuff. So go ahead, sit back, enjoy, and let's go ahead and hop into today's video. So. This is gonna be something that every dude wants. Fuck, I don't think I know one dude that doesn't want just a bigger upper body, all right? We want the chest, we want the arms, we want the shoulders, we want, you know, the abs, we want the back, we want all of that, all right? And when you can't get it, it's frustrating. I get it, I was there at one point in my life. Literally, look at this picture, I was there, all right? I didn't have any of that. So, today's video, we're gonna be going through on how you can fix that so that you're not looking like that small ass twig anymore and you can literally beef up you can get bigger okay so first thing is first you have got to train pick one of your body parts let's just to say you got your arms your chest your back uh your shoulders pick one of those and start training it at least two to three times per week because you can't train all those body parts two to three times per week that's going to be it's going to be too much all right so pick one of those body parts and start training that two to three times per week so let's just say you're taking your shoulders. That's what I did at first. I took my shoulders. I said, I want to develop my shoulders and make my shoulders bigger. So I took my shoulders and I was like, okay, I'm going to start developing my shoulders and training them two to three times per week. So I train my shoulders Monday. Uh, I train my shoulders Wednesday. And I train my shoulders, um, let's just say, Saturday or Sunday, one of those two days, okay? So you're training it multiple times throughout the week so you get more stimulus to it you get more action you get more uh growth and stress to that muscle group all right now let's take that that's the first tip that's going to go to our second tip so as you're training that muscle group two to three times per week do a combination of high reps to hypertrophy and also low reps as well too all right like it's like go heavier with the weight and focus on uh doing hypertrophy with it as well too. So this is what I mean, okay? So this is how I used to paradise my, my workouts. All right, so I would do, if I, let's just say I'm doing shoulder press. I'll work my way up to something heavy. So I'll start off with the bar. Uh, I'll go to like a 25, I'll go to a 35, I'll go to a plate, then a plate 10. If I'm doing seated, um, maybe I think, I think I worked my way up to like a plate 25 once or two plates, I can't remember. But I work my way up to a heavy weight, okay? When I work my way up to a heavy weight, then I got I got that like the pump that I got the density built from that heavy weight in my muscles, okay? Now to get the growth, to get the size onto it, you have to go into hypertrophy. Okay, now hypertrophy is gonna be anywhere between 10 to 15 reps. Okay, it gave me honestly start at 8 to 15 reps, but it can be in that range. Okay, eight to 15 reps. So when you're in that range, okay, you can do pretty much everything. So like shoulder press, you can do lateral raises, you can do front raises, whatever it may be in that rep range. And that will help to also put that size onto that muscle group. So when you're doing that through that way, you have got to stay consistent with it as well too. Okay, so work your way up to something heavy, and then start to bring it back down, drop the weight, make the weight lighter so that you can go lighter or you, so you can do more reps with heavier weight, okay? So that's gonna be the second tip. And then the last tip, the third tip, all right? The third tip is going to be diet. You have got to eat right. Now, honestly, you don't have to eat in a huge caloric surplus. There's a lot of myths out there you wanna put on size, you gotta eat in a huge caloric surplus. You guys can only gain two to three pounds of muscle a year. So you gotta take this slow. Take this slow, all right? You wanna make sure that you're eating 0.8 to one gram of protein per body weight to make sure that you're putting on muscle. And when it comes to your carbs, it's not like you had to eat 500 carbs in a day. These are breaking down your macronutrients, okay? And I suggest you guys break down your macronutrients so that you can know what you're putting into your body, all right? So from there, say you got everything broken down, all right? You're smooth sailing with it, boom. So you got that. Next, you go into uh, making sure that everything is balanced. So you wanna make sure that everything is comes up to being 100%. 
your mac your protein, your carbs, and your fats. All right, so let's just say that your your protein is uh, forty percent, your carbs is forty percent, and your fats is twenty percent. All right, that comes out to being a hundred percent altogether. So making sure that your diet is scheduled out like that will also go into tack that it will also go into you putting on size but not putting on too much weight where you can start to get fat but at the same time you're building that muscle so that will conclude today's video those are going to be the three tips to grow your upper body and i will see you guys in the next video peace